So in this video lesson, I'm going to show you how to convert uh, a vector that's in a non-standard basis to a another non-standard basis. Okay. So let's uh, consider that we have two bases. Okay. Where beta, the first set we have beta is consists of vectors b1, b2, and the second one, the second basis is c, where so uh, where it's composed of c1 and c2, and both of these are in a vector space v. And b1, uh, the vector b1 is equal to the linear combination of c, c1 and c2, and the same thing for b2. And suppose that x, that we have a vector x, and it's defined by linear combination by the vectors in beta. So based on this, uh, we, can, we want to find the vector x um, based in the basis C, okay. All right, so okay, so really, um, so we have a vector that's defined, or we want to find the, or we have a vector in terms of beta, okay, and we want to convert that vector in terms of C, okay. All right, so okay, so we have. A, Okay, we want to find this vector x in terms of c. So we have that b1, okay, we have b1 in terms of c, and b2 is also is in terms of c. So we're going to take this, okay, so we're going to take those basis vector that's going to form our what's called our transformation matrix, okay, our, or in other words, our coordinate, our coordinate matrix, and we're going to take that and multiply it by our vector and in, in beta. Okay. Okay, so we have so we have this. Okay. So then from here, okay, so we're gonna have this is gonna be equal to so we have beta one or vector b one should say um, is going to form the first column of our of the coordinate matrix. So b one all right, B1 is a linear combination of 4 and 1, okay? So that's going to go into here, so 4, 1. B2 is a linear combination of C1 and C2, okay? So that's going to give us minus 6 and 1, okay? So that gives us our, so this is our, our change of coordinates matrix, okay? So we're, so again, we're converting from one non-standard basis to another non-standard basis. So now, all we have to do is multiply this out, okay? So this is going to be, we have 4 times 3 plus negative 6 times 1 for the first entry, and for the second entry of 1 times 3 plus 1 times 1. So that's going to give us... Um, so we have 12 minus 6, that's going to give us 6, and then we have 3 and 1, which gives us 4. Okay, so that is the, uh, that is our solution. So that is the vector in, vector of, in, in, in our C basis, okay. So again, so that's going from the basis B to C, okay, and that's the equivalent vector.